Hi everyone, my name is Ryan and uh, welcome to my free weekly webinar. All right. For those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. All right. Welcome to FX Starts here. Now, I do a free weekly webinar every week, completely free. Right? You don't have to pay for it. All right? uh, and in fact, by watching my webinar every week, you, know, you stand a chance to make $100 as well. All right, so um, it's a no-brainer, right? It's a win-win situation for you. You get to learn something about Forex, right? About Forex trading, you gain knowledge and at the same time, you stand a chance to win some money, all right? Okay, so uh, let's get on with today's lesson, right? Today, I'm going to share something, uh, I'm going to share something exciting with all of you and it's this topic called Massive Account Growth. Right? I always have people coming up to me asking me, hey, how do we grow our account even faster? Or how do we grow our account as quickly or as fast as possible? Well, this is the personal strategy that I used right? uh, last time when I was, when I was still... Uh, uh, when I was still quite new in Forex, you know, and uh, I have not made my money yet, I have not made my millions yet, so this was one of the strategy I used to grow my account very quickly, alright? Okay, there is, uh, there's actually no need for me to do it right now because uh, I, I, don't, I don't want to trade so aggressively on my account, right? But occasionally, you know, uh, we, 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 I still do it for fun, you know, just fund a small account and then a uh, Grow it quickly for fun and, and see what happens, all right? Okay, so uh, let's move on to the slides. Okay, so basically there are four steps to get a massive account growth. The first one, very important, a fixed trading system, right? You must trade one fixed, okay, never mind. I'll elaborate more on it in the later slides, all right? S number two, a consistent track record. Number three, two trading accounts, right? two separate trading accounts, and fourthly, very disciplined trading. All right, very disciplined trading. All right, so I'm gonna elaborate more on each point. The first one, a fixed trading system. What does that mean? That means that you fix, sorry, that means, <laughs> that means that you trade one fixed strategy. All right, you trade only one strategy. Right, you do not change the strategy. Today you trade strategy A, tomorrow strategy B, another day strategy C, and then another day strategy D. All right, you need to be trading only one strategy. All right, and then uh, you need to follow the rules very strictly. All right, so step one, step two, step three. What can you do? What can you not do? How much is your stop loss? Are you going to trade the trend? Are you going to trade the range? Are you going to trade reversal? Are you going to buy only or are you going to sell only today? You know, so you need to follow your rules very strictly. All right. Basically, the key thing in, in you, you hear me saying this all the time, right? Basically, the key thing in trading is consistency. All right. The most profitable traders in this world are all very consistent. When you ask them what do they do, right? They tell you they can tell you step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, and they repeat this every day, day after day after day after day, right? Whereas the traders who are not so profitable, you know, you ask them, okay, what do you do every day? It's not the same, right? Because some days they do this, some days they do that, another day they do another thing. So it's a, it's. it's they do whatever they feel like doing on that day, right? They let emotions take over their trading rules and their trading plans, all right? And then uh, you also have to be very familiar with the strategy, right? Familiar meaning one look at the chart, you know straight away that there is a setup or you know whether is this a correct trade or is this not correct trade, incorrect trade, all right? So you have to be very familiar with your strategy. Don't, you don't want to be entering a trade and then later find out, oh, you know, I was not supposed to enter because it was not a correct setup. Okay, so you have to be very, very familiar with your strategy. Okay, what's point number two? Consistent track record. All right, so you need a very, very consistent track record. Okay, and how to get a consistent track record? The only way is to keep trading your strategy again and again and again and again. So you need to have at least 100 trades completed. All right, so if you have already traded 100 trades live, that's the best scenario, all right? 
you can get your 100 trades from your account history, right? So your MT4 platform has this tab called your account history, right? And you can get your full trading history from here, all right? So you have 100 trades completed, that's the best, right? The alternative, if you do not have 100 trades completed, is to backtest your trades, right? And then record it down in Excel or record it by writing down on a piece of paper. Right, I remember when I was trading 12 years ago, when I first started trading 12 years ago, I did my back test on the screen, you know, during the weekends, and then I would jot it down on, a, on, on my notebook. And then I refer back to it, right? I refer back to it when I'm learning, right? Especially during the weekends, right? Why during the weekends? Because the market's not open, right? The market's not open. So you can't be looking, so you're not looking at a live trade. So I practice my trading by back testing. Okay. Next, two trading accounts. All right, this is a key as well. So you need to have two trading accounts on your one account, which is uh, the, the account that you trade normally, right? You trade as per normal, right? Uh, keep your risk reward, right? Sorry, keep to your risk management, risk and proper risk money management, right? Which is one or two percent risk per trade maximum. All right, so that is your normal trading account. And then you have a second trading account, right, which I call it the SL account or a stop loss account. So what is a stop loss account? The main purpose of, okay, before I go to that, this stop loss account, please don't put too much money into this account, right? Don't deposit such a big amount. Be prepared that this account, you can lose everything. Right, you can lose everything inside this account because you're going to trade it very, very aggressively in the beginning. All right, so you're going to start off with a very small deposit, very aggressive risk. All right, so normally what I did last time was for my stop stop loss account, I normally put in a thousand dollars. Right, I put in a thousand dollars to to me that was a small deposit. Right, so I put in a thousand dollars and then I trade it very aggressively. Right? So like a thousand dollars, I'll trade one standard lot. So if I hit a stop loss of 20 pips, right, that is $200 or 20% of my account gone. Right? So one loss, 20% of the account gone. Right? So you don't want to fool around with this account. All right? So it's a very, very aggressive account. One loss, 20% loss. All right? No joke. Okay. Now the thing is that you're not going to trade every single setup on this account. Right? You're not going to trade every single setup. You are going to be looking at your track record of 100 trades. Remember, you have already done 100 trades. Whether is it back test or live trading, 100 trades. And then you're going to take note right, of the times where you hit a losses. Right? Now, you might have a track record where it says where, where it's something like that. Right? Win, 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 lose, win, win, lose, win, lose, win, lose, win, 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 lose. That's fine, all right? But then you're going to come across a period of time where you go through a losing streak, right? It might be two losses in a row or three losses in a row, all right? So you might hit a point of time where you get lose, lose, and then win, and then lose, 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 win. So you see, you know, what is the maximum number of losses you hit in a row during that 100 trades? It could be three times, it could be four times, it could even be five times. All right, but five times is not going to happen very often. Maybe out of the 100 trades, five times only happen once. Lose four times in a row also happen once, but you lose three times in a row quite often, right? Two or three times in a row, you can lose it quite often, right? It might, might happen three or four times even, right? Or maybe every 10 trades you place, you will get a period of two losing trades in a row or even three losing trades in a row. So if that happens, right, I like to do it after three losing trades, right? So I know it's very rare for me, right? So it's, this means that when I enter on the fourth trade, it's almost like a, it's a very high percentage chance that I will win this, this trade, right? I'm not gonna say guaranteed win, but it's a very high chance because according to my track record, three losses in a row don't happen very often, right? So this stop loss account, you're gonna enter it only after you hit three losses in a row in your normal account, 
right? So your normal account, you're risking 1% or 2%, let's say 2%. So you lose 2%, you lose 2%, you lose another 2%. Total loss, 6%, right? Fourth trick, you enter on your normal account, account number one, same risk, 2%. And on your stop loss account, you enter one standard lot, 20 pip stop loss. You're going to risk 20% for this trade. All right. So if you hit a stop loss, you lose $200, which is 20% of your account gone. Right. But the chance of winning this trade is quite high, right? Because you have been, you already have a track record of 100 trades, right? And in fact, the more the merrier. Minimum is 100 trades. If you can do 200, 300 trades, it will be even better. All right. So three losses in a row, boom. I enter my stop loss account and most of the time it's a win, right? And when you win, you win 20 pips, 30, 40, 50, even 100 pips. If you make 100 pips in that one trade, you double your account, right? You make 200, sorry, you make 100% profits in your account. Your account from $1,000 grows to 2000 in just one trade, all right? But remember, you do not risk 20% every single trade. You only enter this trade on, on this account after you hit two or three stop losses all right that's the key remember that right do not enter every trade 20 percent loss 20 percent risk right you hit three stop losses account gone by 60 percent very difficult for you to recover okay so <clears throat> what i normally do with this account is i grow it you know i grow it Right, and I'll maintain my lot size as well. Right, so when it grew to a thousand dollars, I still maintain one standard lot. Right, because I don't want my I don't want to increase to two standard lots because I don't want to lose twenty percent now. All right, now maybe I want to risk only ten percent of my account. Right, so two thousand dollars in your account now. Same thing, one standard lot. Hit the stop loss twenty pips, you lose two hundred dollars, which is ten percent. It's fine. All right, it's fine. Okay, but if you have doing if you have if you have done this stop loss account a few times and you're confident in your own track record, you can continue risking 20%, right? So normally what I do is I risk 20%, 20%, 20%, and by the time after four or five trades, right? Because don't forget it's it, it could take quite some time, right? Because on your normal account you would have placed maybe 15 trades already, but this account you had only placed three trades, right? Or four trades, okay? And uh, and this account would have grown to it would have grown a, a, a few hundred percent already, right? So so normally what I'll do is maybe from a thousand dollars I grow it to five thousand or ten thousand, and then this one becomes my main account now, and I'm going to trade it very conservatively back to one to two percent already again, all right? And now right I would be able to make a very very comfortable profit with my ten thousand dollar account. Right, if every month I make ten percent, twenty percent, that's one to two thousand US dollars profits. All right. So this is uh, how I grow my account quickly, aggressively with a plan. All right. So you don't just, you know, bank twenty percent risk blindly. We do it with a strategy. This strategy. All right. With a plan. All right. So discipline trader. So discipline trading. This is uh, very important. Right. So the most important factor in trading even more important when trading the stop loss account follow trading rules strictly all right so it is very important that you follow your trading rules strictly 20 pips stop loss means 20 pips all right you don't you don't remove your stop loss because look if the trade goes against you by 100 pips you blow the account the account is gone your stop loss account is down to zero all right so keep to your trading rules if your stop loss is 20 pips stick to it if it's 30 pips then you trade 30 then then you skip your stop loss to 30 pips all right, but not more than that, yeah? Do not trade without a stop loss. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? So, and it's important, it's important that you are very disciplined with your trading. You enter the trades only after the two or three stop loss has been hit, right? Don't enter every single setup, all right? Only after you hit the two or three stop loss, then you enter. Remember this, this is the key to grow your account explosively right massive account growth all right so that's the end of today's lesson massive account growth right so now i'm going to talk about uh today's usd hundred dollar winner i guess uh, all of you are watching this web webinar for this all right so we will pick one winner this week okay we'll pick one winner this week all right so what you need to do is you need to like and share this post 
All right, like and share this post, okay? And then like the FX Starts Here Facebook page. Leave a comment below, all right? Please leave a comment below, all right? And uh, last week, we had some problems where some students left a lot of comments, right? Five, ten comments even. All right, so this week, please don't do that. All right, one comment per person. All right, if I see you spamming the comment section with four, five, ten comments, you know, I'm just going to um, remove you from the from the contest. All right, you will not be eligible to win the USD hundred dollars. So one comment per person. Thank you. All right, so leave a comment below, right? I pick the winners on the comment, right? But at the same time, we would like to make sure that uh, you like and share this post and then uh, like the FX Starts Here Facebook page as well, all right? So the winner will be, oh, sorry, I forgot to change the date. All right, so the winner will be picked tomorrow, 1st of September, all right? 1st of September at uh, 12 noon Singapore time, all right? So it's about 9... It's about 9 p.m. now, so we have about 12, 13, 14, right? 15 hours, 15 hours for you guys to uh, watch the, this webinar, watch this video, like and share this post, like the FX Starts Here page, leave a comment below, and uh, you could be a lucky winner tomorrow at 12 noon Singapore time. All right, so that's all for this week. I'll see you again tomorrow when I do the live draw. All right, bye-bye.